This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Today's video is sponsored by Stamps.com. It is refreshing to hear a politician not mince words, not lean into uh, polling data to kind of get a feel for how the public feels about something. To, to not want to stir up controversy or speak ill of my, my good friend across the aisle. There's a tradition in American politics of civility, the, 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 the facade of, facil uh, of civility, when really, truly, it isn't civil. They use language like I just referenced, the good friend across the aisle, the, the, the gentle lady from wherever, when really they are bitter rivals. And too often, even when we're talking about things of politicians talking about one another, even if they're of opposite parties, too often uh, kid gloves are used. And it is refreshing to hear someone like what happened this weekend on CNN where sitting United States Senator, sitting United States Senator Elizabeth Warren, the brilliant Elizabeth Warren from Massachusetts, was asked about the, what's going on right now with Kevin McCarthy, and she flatly said how she felt. If you don't know, I'm not gonna go through the whole entire thing of what's happening with Kevin McCarthy and how busted he got with outright lies, showcasing what a coward he is, uh, I did a video on about Friday. If you want to know, I, I go all the way through it, playing the tapes, proving the case of what a liar and a coward he is. But Elizabeth Warren was asked about it, and I want to share this with you. Uh, before I do, though, a word from today's sponsor, Stamps.com. I do a lot of research and put in long hours to ensure that the Dollamore Daily here and my podcast run as smoothly and professionally as possible. Whenever I come across a chance to make the operation more efficient without compromising its quality, I seize upon it. Shipping our Patreon perks was a long time kink in the works, which required hours of organization and several agonizing trips to the post office. When I signed up with Stamps.com, it was an instant upgrade. Stamps.com gives you access to all of the post office and UPS shipping services you need right from your computer. Just print official postage at home and have your mail carrier pick it up. All you need is a computer and a standard printer. No special supplies or equipment is needed. Enhance your business by going to stamps.com slash dollamore and access a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. You'll be up and running in minutes printing official postage for any letter, any package to send anywhere and you'll be able to access discounts you won't find anywhere else. Up to 30% off of the United States Postal Service and 86% off of UPS. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been an essential time and labor saver for over 1 million businesses. Head to Stamps.com right now to access your four-week trial, plus free postage and a sweet digital scale. There's zero risk, no long-term commitments or contracts, and you'll be supporting my channel. Go to stamps.com slash dollamore to streamline your mailing and shipping game and to save yourself money as well. That's stamps.com slash dollamore. With stamps.com, you'll never have to go to the post office again. So let's watch this together. Listen, it is absolutely refreshing when someone says something that one, is true and not steeped in conspiracy theory and nuttiness, and two, says it frankly and plainly and doesn't use politician speak to do so. Here's this clip, Elizabeth Warren talking about Kevin McCarthy on CNN, live television. I hope you feel the same way that I do about it. Watch this. Before I let you go, I want to ask about something the New York Times reported uh, this past week. They revealed new audio from House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy from the days immediately following January 6th. Uh, listen to what he said in two separate calls that, again, the New York Times reported. He told me he does have some responsibility for what happened, and he need to acknowledge that. 
the only discussion I would have with him is that I think this will pass, and it would be my recommendation we should be done. You know, he's not saying that now. What's your reaction? Kevin McCarthy is a liar and a traitor. Uh, this is outrageous, and that is really the, the, the illness that, that pervades the Republican leadership right now, that they say one thing to the American public and something else in private. They understand that it is wrong what happened, an attempt to overthrow our government, uh, and that the Republicans instead want to continue to try to figure out how to make 2020 election different instead of spending their energy on how it is that we go forward in order to build an economy, in order to make this country work better for the people who sent us to Washington. Shame on Kevin McCarthy. Shame on Kevin McCarthy, the liar, the traitor, the coward, tough guy in private, S whimpering, sniveling, coward in public, afraid of weakling Donald Trump. I mean, how weak do you have to be to be afraid of Donald Trump? More importantly, though, this really does go to the, the point that she's mentioning, that rather than standing up for the American people, uh, championing policy that will make people's lives better, they engage in culture wars, they're trying to destroy American education, and they're standing behind the anti-democratic lie that Donald Trump actually won the election. Even though they know in their hearts it's not true. Even though Kevin McCarthy says he needs to resign from office, he'll still stand proudly with Donald Trump in photos at Mar-a-Lago and get his picture taken and try to fundraise. Because that is what matters. Power, not progress. Gross. What do you think, though? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I welcome that. Follow me on social media. I would absolutely love to connect with you there. I am at dollamore on Twitter, at dollamore on Instagram, and at dollamore on the mighty TikTok. <laughs> I love and appreciate you guys. Thank you for engaging with my content as often as you do. If you're new here, uh, I appreciate you joining. Uh, the video I did on Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene late last Friday, uh, I, 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 I saw a, a marked uptick in people uh, subscribing to the channel. So I, I appreciate that very much. Uh, listen, we, we have uh, big times ahead of us, precarious times. The 2022 midterms are upon us. It is 2022. Campaigning is underway. And if we don't hold on to both the Senate and the House, our very democracy is in peril. It's not hyperbole. It is not exaggeration. It is not uh, clickbait. It is true. Republic if they gain control of this midterm, now I'm going back into a video, it, is, it could be the death knell of our very democracy. Listen, if you appreciate what I do, I would appreciate it if you would consider supporting my work, helping produce what I do right here on the platform. You can click the join button below this video, become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month, or you can click on over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and help support what I do there. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I will see you next time. Until I do, be genuine and take care of one another.